This is Super Yacht News with the Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so the first story is about the RV Petrol. Uh, it has arrived in Tampa Bay in Florida. The vessel was towed by a deep sea tug across the Atlantic after being righted after an incident while in maintenance. The research vessel, which was once owned by the late Paul Allen, toppled over whilst in a dry dock facility in Leith in Scotland in March. It injured uh, 25 people, including dry dock workers who were working on board at the time. Now, the vessel that towed the petrol across the Atlantic, it was actually a tugboat, but it was a deep sea tugboat and it was working on the Hudson River near the USS Intrepid in New York City before traveling over to Scotland. Uh, once it hitched on the petrol in Leith in Scotland, it, it headed to Tampa Bay in Florida and it took 29 days and eight hours to make that journey, starting on the 30th of May and completing the trip on the 28th of June. Uh, the vessel could only average speeds of around eight knots and that's why it took so long. Not easy to tow a, a big ship across the Atlantic like that. I assume they must have made some repairs in the in the hull because the hull was actually had a gaping hole in it um, when it was righted. The tug arrived in Hillsborough Bay at 1900 hours UTC uh, or 1400 hours local time and arrived at a berth near the Rockport Pier Terminals. If you live in Tampa, I'm sure you know where that is, which is in the East Bay in Tampa Bay. Now, Paul Allen, he purchased this vessel to uh, search for shipwreck and uh, he had a keen interest in military wreck discovery specifically and this vessel the petrol was credited with finding a number of ships including the flagship of the royal navy hms hood which was sunk by the bismarck in 1941 they actually recovered the ship's bell from from hms hood and uh, and gave it back to the british government the uss indianapolis which was the ship that delivered the first atomic bomb components uh, in 1945 they also discovered the USS Hornet, uh, which was an aircraft carrier which played a big role for the US after the attack on Pearl Harbor. Now, in 2022, after, uh, after he had passed away, all of his vessels were put up for sale, including this one, and it was purchased by the US Navy for a reported fee of 10 million pounds, which is about $12.4 million, which was set at a time to be under market value. I just want to thank uh, the Bay Flight 3 crew for taking the photographs. They actually flew in a helicopter over RV Petrol being towed and took these photographs and sent them to us. So much appreciated for that. All right, so we'll move on to the next story. And this is about Moti Yacht Nord. She has actually arrived back in Vladivostok in Russia uh, after spending the last year or so avoiding sanctions. So go back eight months, the vessel was heading west through the Straits of Malacca, past Singapore, and they went into the Indian Ocean and they switched off the AIS. And, and at the time, they were the, the destination on that tracking system said uh, Cape Town in South Africa. Uh, this started a big debate in South Africa as to whether or not that vessel should be allowed to dock there because of the Russian owner. Um, and they actually uh, turned off the AIS and disappeared. We traced them about 10 days later in the Maldives. They then went to the Seychelles. They hung around in the Maldives and the Seychelles for months, for like over six months. And now they're heading back in the other direction. Anyway, the crew of the yacht obviously feels safe on that side of the world because as they entered the Malacca Straits, they switched the AIS back on and they went through the Straits past Singapore and headed in that direction. However, they did have various different places as destinations, including South Korea uh, and some places in China. And they changed their AIS destination as many as 15 times before finally arriving in Vladivostok in Russia. They arrived in Vladivostok at uh, sort of 2000 hours UTC time on the 27th of this month. Uh, so Motiot Nord, some of the specs of Motiot Nord is 141 meters long or 464 foot, a gross tonnage of over 10,000 gross tons, maximum speed of around 20 knots. Uh, the owner is believed to be a Russian billionaire, one of the, one of the richest Russian billionaires, uh, Alexei Mordozhov. He also owns Lady M, which is arrested in Imperia in Italy. Uh, and this, this vessel Nord is the, is, number 15 on the ranking of world's largest yachts but that's by length and not by uh, not by gross tonnage 
All right, so we'll move on to the next story. And it's about Royal Romance. We mentioned in the last video that the vessel had been sold. Now, a little quick backstory. The vessel was owned by a Ukrainian Viktor Medvedchuk. He was the leader of the opposition political party in Ukraine, but he was arrested for treason. And he was actually waiting to go to trial when the invasion of Ukraine started. And he fled, was captured, and then he was handed over to Russia in a prisoner swap. Now, his yacht was in Croatia at the time, and it was seized by the Croatian government. And the Croatian government then handed it back to Ukraine to, you know, to do whatever they wanted to do with it. The Ukrainian government apparently has sold it, but it's really strange that they've sold it to a Russian. Uh, I suppose the way they look at it is they need the money more than they need to worry about who they're selling it to, right? Um, as you can see, the photographs here, it shows that the vessel is still in Trogir in, in Croatia. We weren't sure because it had been sold. We weren't sure if it was still there or not. Uh, and we, we had a shout out on the channel to, to anybody who might be in that area. And one of our intrepid subscribers headed down there and uh, took these photographs. He said it was very hard to get any photographs of, but he even asked at the gate and they did confirm that it was indeed Royal Romance. So yeah, so it looks like she's not going anywhere anytime soon. Now, one of the things that I am interested to know is if that vessel will end up back with Mr. Medvedchuk because it's been bought by a Russian it could very easily end up back with Mr. Medvedchuk, assuming he's still got uh, his access to his bank accounts in Russia. Please be sure to check out our new channel called Superyacht News. You can find it by typing at superyacht-news into YouTube. You'll get to see all the news from here, but in bite-sized chunks. So if you're in a hurry, uh, you can watch individual stories in separate videos. And be sure to check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash eastisman. You'll find behind the scenes videos, including the full tender ride around the arena in the Monaco Grand Prix. You get to see other exclusive videos not published on YouTube, like the Patreon chat series and the Atlantic vlog series. You'll get early access to features advert free, and you'll get to ask questions for Patreon only Q and A's. We just published one a couple of weeks ago, so you get to see that on there right now. All right, guys, if you've got any information for us, uh, please be sure to get in touch through the normal fashions. You can get us on the about page of the YouTube channel. You can get us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger. You can also get us on Threema. Be sure to like this video, very important. Uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for future notifications. All right, guys, have a great weekend and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.